battery and mowers and blowers. Good morning. Today's actually my birthday, but you guys are seeing this like on Thursday, which is two days later. But uh, anyway, I was in bed. I wanted to just lie in bed all day and do absolutely nothing, you know, just like lie on the couch and watch TV the whole day and not think about my birthday because I hate celebrating my birthday. Hey, listen, when you get to around my age, right, you really don't want to think about it. However, I am a little happy that I made it another year, you know. I could be dead. I could, you know, I could be dead. So to make it another year is always an accomplishment when you get to my age. Uh, I'm 52, by the way. Anyhow, uh, I just thought it was going to be a nice, quiet day. I wasn't going to get anything, wasn't going to do anything. But then Frank, the UPS guy, gave me a text message while I was still in bed. He tells me there's a chainsaw, like three blocks from here. So how do I not get in my van and just go and see, you know what I mean? And uh, if I get a chainsaw, that'll be my birthday present, you know? Um, chainsaws are pretty cool, you know? Anyway, so I drove over there, and you ready for this? I'm looking around the neighborhood, and all the garbage uh, cans are upside down. Our garbage guys do that. When they're done, they flip the garbage can upside down. And so I saw that all the garbage, can, garbage cans were upside down. Garbage guys already got it. I'm like, oh my God, did, did Frank text me? And then five minutes later, the garbage truck came and took everything? Fortunately for me, it was on a small road where the garbage guys haven't gone to yet. So I got it, picked up everything that he told me was there. And then as I was turning the corner, the garbage guys made the turn. <laughs> Again, I beat the garbage guys like by two minutes, you know. I'm going to show you what I got. So, here is the chainsaw. Pool on, 1800, 1 1.8 cubic inches. It's a woodsman. I've had a wood shark before. This looks old, the way it's shaped. Almost looks like a McCullough, doesn't it? Never had one this old before, but looks all right. It's a uh, doggy or baby gate. Um, I took it only because I need this acrylic uh, glass, if you will, because that divider in my van, you know, <laughs> I've, I've transported uh, snow blowers before, and every time I slam on the brakes, right, the handles to the snow blower go right through it. I've broken like three of them. I'm getting tired of fixing it. This uh, acrylic looks a lot stronger. And also, maybe I'll make one of those COVID shields, huh? You know, like an Andy Reid COVID shield? <laughs> yeah. This was on the street. Perfectly good metal box that you can hang on the wall, right? And, um, have the dividers, see? So I was thinking about maybe just like putting this in my, um, you know, radio flyer thing and, that, and I could put my tools there and divides it. Maybe, I, I don't know. So um, I've always heard of um, vacuum cleaners being profitable, especially if you find a Dyson. Well, I mean, I've seen a lot of vacuum cleaners on the street and I don't know the first thing about fixing a vacuum cleaner, you know what I mean? But a Dyson, I think those things are like 500 bucks, right? Well, the first time I find a Dyson ball one, right? DC 40. I mean, it looks complete. Doesn't look like anything's broken on it. Um, I don't know much about it, but I figure I'd plug it in and see what's wrong with it, you know? I think it's worth like 500 bucks is what I'm thinking. I was just about to go inside and get a Band-Aid. 
I've got a first aid kit right here. <laughs> with a brand new box of band-aids that fit, that looks like would fit perfectly on my boo-boo here. I gotta tell you, when the planets are all lined up in a line like that, I mean, I don't know, man. Sometimes you just wonder, geez, how are things happening for, a cert for certain reasons? You know what I mean? Believable. It's like you hurt your finger and then somebody drops a first aid kit right in front of you. You know what I mean? I'm gonna take this uh, plastic acrylic off of this thing, cut it to shape, scrape off the old one, and finally, hopefully, I'll have a more stronger acrylic barrier so that I could film in between of what I sell in back of my van and uh, hopefully it doesn't break this time. So I don't think I'm gonna cut it to size. I'm just gonna put it on here, uh, just really quick. You know what I mean? Uh, I've got this like brand new uh, heavy duty stapler gun that I got uh, from my dad's house. That looks all right. Okay, I just plugged in this Dyson. with this thing. Ball moves, swivels. I didn't get it. So uh, the Dyson uh, vacuum actually works. The only thing that doesn't work is the bottom round brush that agitates the spinning brush on the bottom, right? Uh, but other than that, it works. And uh, I don't think I want to take it apart to find out. So I'm just going to sell it locally here for like $25. I'm going to try this um, Woodsman Poulon chainsaw I just got. And uh, it's so old that um, you know, it doesn't really have any, uh, any other types of... Uh, adjustments or anything like that uh, and it looks like it might be difficult because it's all everything is encased into this cover you know you've got an on and off switch over here on off and that's start got a choke lever here choke says to the right put gas in it feels like it has compression doesn't have one of those you know um, brake chain brake um, levers here it doesn't seem like there's any adjustment whatsoever you know what I mean without taking apart the entire cover to maybe do the fuel mixture screws so I don't think I'm gonna do anything with this I'm just gonna sell it locally here for like 10 bucks or something
I'm not gonna do any more. There's no even signs of starting. the next day our water district it came and changed all the uh, water meters underground so that all they got to do is drive by and they got a sensor and it reads what your water meter is without actually having to come out and read something on a meter you know so technology whatever we took them like 10 minutes man unbelievable uh, as you guys uh, remember I had that uh, pool on wood woodsman Chainsaw, I didn't want to fix it, you know what I mean? So uh, I just listed it locally here for uh, $25. And uh, I put it in between my two cars there. And I told this guy if he wanted it, go ahead and check it out, take it. And uh, 
put twenty dollars or twenty. I I listed for twenty five, but he says how about twenty? I says okay. To put it under my windshield wiper, I don't know if he left exactly the right amount, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't watch that on video, so I'm using my new Heim Vision surveillance system that you guys saw me pick up the other day, uh, install the other day, and uh, this is video of the guy picking up my. Woodsman chainsaw for twenty dollars. It's good to have a surveillance system so you guys can see what yahoos are coming up to your house and grabbing things and uh, making sure that they leave money. And if not, at least you have them on video. If they didn't pay, you would just say, hey, look, this guy came onto my driveway, man, and and just stole it, you know? He's like, oh, where's my money? I told the guy $20. Where is it? You know what? I'm just going to leave. Yeah, I'm not going to give him any money. I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to steal it. But then he's thinking to himself, well, what if he has a surveillance system and he's going to catch me on video, I better leave him $20. Maybe I'll just leave him $5. Maybe I'll leave him a dollar. Maybe I'll just leave him an empty, empty envelope. That's what I'll do. All right, well, that's that. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm now happy that I got this surveillance system. It's pretty cool. As you can see, it's raining today, and it doesn't give you too much uh, options on doing stuff today. Honest Abe! Scores! I'm in my backyard again, as you guys remember. I wanted to get rid of that left rear tire because it wobbles, and the reason why it's wobbly is because one of my subscribers told me that it broke a cord on the inside of the radial tire, I guess. And that's why it pops up or something. So it has like a bump on it, you know? So it wobbles when I'm driving. So I want to get rid of it, but I didn't have another set of 20s because I really like these tires and they're always on my tractors. So I never have any spares. So uh, I have spare 18s and stuff like that, but uh, they have 18s that are 8.5 width and then nine and then 10. So they're all exactly they're all different, you know? This one I know is good. So if I could find one of these five that hold air, yesterday I put ATF in it, all of them. And I got rid of actually a bunch of them because they just, they're so dry rotted that even ATF ain't gonna fix it. So let's take a look at this one here. I think this one's not gonna work because this one was leaking ATF and it doesn't. So this one's done. I'm gonna throw this out. I've got so many, I, I'm just going to let go and throw them out. This one, it's a shame too, you know? I mean, if I had a bunch of inner tubes, I could just throw them in there and work, you know? But I've got so many, you know? This one here is uh, actually a 20, but it's thinner, you know? And this one holds. This one's good. No, oh, would I put this one on there? It's a choice. That one's good. Let's see this one. This one's good. I think this one looks just like the one with the yellow. And this one's good. So out of the five, ATF fixed three of them. It's been two days since I did it. So, you know, it's held up uh, air pretty well. This is an 18 by 8.5 by 8. Let me see the yellow one here. Okay, the yellow one, ooh, the yellow one's a 20 by eight, by eight. Well, that's not good because, uh, oh, here we go. This is a 20 by eight by eight. So this one and this one match perfectly. So you know what? I'm gonna put these two on the rears. They look the same? They do. So these two I'm going to put on the rears. 
These two I'm gonna save in my shed. These two I'm gonna chuck. And I'm gonna pick these, I'm gonna swap these wheels out. You saw exactly what I did. Took one of these old cushions that Nick from Medford gave me. Fits perfectly on this Husqvarna um, plastic molded seat, right? The original one was cracked everywhere. So it actually took a bit to get it off. You know, it was stuck pretty well on the sides. I just used some silicone, put it around all the contact areas. Got a couple of clamps to secure it and a couple of bungee cords just to let it cure and dry, uh, dry you know. Um, it, this one has a few little cracks here and there, but definitely not anywhere close to these cracks, you know what I mean? So this is a Husqvarna. It's an AYP product, just like a Craftsman. This is a Craftsman seed. As you can see, they're molded exactly the same with just different branding, that's all, you know. So uh, looks like I'll be able to save this seat, at least uh, make it into a much better seat. As you also saw, since I was putting those good tires away, the ones that I've been sitting for a couple of days and I know that the ATF sort of fixed it, you know, uh, it wasn't leaking air, they hold air. Uh, I decided to look at the other gray, uh, gray Craftsman that I have yet to work on. It's just a frame, whatever, no engine in it. Uh, but I haven't gotten to that yet because I've got so much to do. I've got this Husqvarna as well as the red pool on in the back to work on first, and then maybe I'll get to that one. Uh, but it had a bad rear tire, so since I had them out already, compared to the sizes, one of them was exactly the same size, so I decided to just switch that tire out too. So that's less for me to do next time, you know what I mean? While I was in the shed putting away the, uh, the 220s, one with the wobbly tire, I decided to pull this seat out, come out here, and fix the seat. So while I'm there, grab all the stuff that I think I need to do, and then fix one step at a time, you know? Uh, this is actually... I, I'm not the type of person that likes to work on different things at different times. Uh, this is rare, you know, usually I just like to fix one thing, stick on that project until it, the conclusion of it, and then work on the next project. But uh, today was just like a hodgepodge of different things that I had to get accomplished so that uh, my next project 
there's a less, little less on my mind, you know, and I have a clear thought of what I'm planning on doing. Um, I got a box today from uh, UPS. It's another Amazon box, and I have a feeling it's another product from Snapfresh. So stay tuned for another review of Snapfresh electric lawn care products. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. It took two days to make. <laughs> Remember to enter my uh, giveaway for Super Clean. Just preliminarily, okay, I see a lot of activity for the Super Clean, right? Like over 200 comments for Super Clean. However, there's only like 18 or so follows to Super Clean on Instagram. So guess what? <laughs> Out of that 100 people or 180 people who wrote super clean on the comments, right? You're not entered unless you follow at mowers blowers on Instagram and at super clean team on Instagram. If you don't follow those two, just writing super clean ain't gonna make you enter. So out of 200 entries, guess what? I only see 18 valid entries right now, you know? <laughs> so, uh, you know, you're disqualified if you don't do all the four steps. Look, I'm not going to make it easy for you, you know what I'm saying? This way, the guys that follow the rules have a better chance to win than the guys that don't follow the rules. It's just how contests go. Go back and watch that damn video, man. Make sure you follow all four steps. How hard is it? <laughs> See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. All you got to do is subscribe to my channel, Mowers and Blowers on YouTube, I know most of you guys are, but there are new viewers every day. And if you subscribe, I'll be able to know if you subscribe or not. If you'd like, also go follow my Instagram, at Mowers and Blowers, as well as Super Clean Team. So give them a like, give them a follow, follow my YouTube channel, and then comment on this video and write Super Clean. Next time on the Mowers and Blowers.